Ooh, look at that beauty in the back. Well, today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Andrew is feeling better. He's back. Bing bong. <laughs> today we are going to be moving stuff around at the Carlisle Antique Mall. That's the plan. Um, but I wanted to get some more <coughs> stuff priced. They were very specific that they only wanted mid-century stuff on the second floor. In addition to all of the upcycled stuff they have. So I've been pulling some stuff to price to bring it over there when we make it over there this afternoon. Here are some things. <laughs> some things. There's some things. So I have this decanter set I pulled off of my listed shelves. I like the swirly stuff on that. Isn't it pretty? I did 58 on that. I felt like that was reasonable. I mean, that's what I would list it for on eBay probably. So it doesn't sell. It'll go to eBay. Um, I've got the Daisy uh, Cinderella mixing bowls back there that I had bought for myself. And now I've decided that I don't really what need them things? that bad. Those go to something that's over on the shelf. Andrew, I'm so glad you're feeling better. <laughs> um, I've got this uh, Tupperware canister, and then I've got a stack of Fiesta plates. I might take these over to Bedford, uh, just because I have the rest of the Fiesta over at Bedford right now. I'm thinking of pricing this Stangle platter. That probably dates for about then. Oh look, there's the thing in there. You guys rem remember this thing? This is kind of like a brandy snifter. It's got that optic look to it. I could probably price that. This, I have the other bowl over on the shelves. But I think I'm gonna maybe bring this stangle. I paid $2.99 for it, so I'll price the stangle as well. I'm gonna get some of this stuff priced and then we're gonna get on with our day. We got everything on the table priced. Um, since we did a huge move in the other day and moved a lot of stuff around, I decided I would just sprinkle a few things in. Um, so I'm not gonna go totally overboard uh, with this, but um, yeah. So I got a bunch of stuff to, priced and I have the tote over here. I think this stuff though, however, is going to be going over to Carlisle Antique Mall. And I'm gonna be taking this over to Bedford. So uh, we're gonna head on over there now. Don't say that. Yeah, that'll, that'll mess your tire up. No, I got it perfect. I got it right up on the curve. Yeah, it's not supposed to be right up on the curve. It's supposed to be away from the curve. Did you see me parallel park this? Yeah, in a space big enough for a semi truck, of course. I parallel parked that. Do you, do you want to fix it for me real quick? Oh, you just spin the wheel. All right, I'm going to get this stuff out of the back. Okay, it was easy. Good job. Now it's good. <laughs> All right, well, Andrew is going to also be restocking his um, case. I would help you, but my hands are full. Don't let me forget that the keys are in there. been a few days since I was here with Jesse. I just had a few things sell out of here, nothing amazing. I had a little caddy with some daisy glasses in there. And there was one other thing that sold and I can't remember what it was, but still don't have a lot of space cleared. But I had this stuff for over at Carlisle. And then since we were coming here, I'm like, you know what? Let's just grab it, let's put it in. Um, so this is more mid-century era stuff. I actually don't know the era of the stangle plate, but I'm assuming probably century. This I bought for myself and then I realized, you know what, I'm never gonna use that. So I'm gonna stick that down here. Okay, so the booth is looking much better. I filled in a few spaces. Like I said, I only had one tote, uh, but I put this dish down there. I added this decanter set for 58. I did put this Moser um, neodymium base in here uh, for 68. That was about what it was selling for on eBay. Um, let's see down here. Um, I added the Pyrex. I've got 180 on that Pyrex set. And then those uh, mid-century modern fish glasses, 36. 
And I put this canister in for 28. I feel like that's the bulk of what I've added. Oh yeah, this lamp. <laughs> I also added this lamp. I think I have 195 on that. We'll see if it moves anywhere. I called it a petroglyph lamp, but I'm not really sure if those are intended as petroglyphs or what those are. It's just kind of a funky looking lamp. And then Tupperware and Stangle. So that's really it. I was looking at a photo I took of this booth the other day and I was looking and I'm like, you know what? I don't think that rug, I think the rug is why I've mentioned previously that this booth isn't really a representation of me because the rug is not really me. It's a really cool rug, but I like more uh, <laughs> funky stuff and this is just kind of classical, romantic, with all those roses and stuff. It's a beautiful rug. I believe it's hand knotted. But it's just not, it's not representative of me. So I may, in the near future, switch that up. So you're getting your coins loaded up? Yeah. I'm gonna put this toolbox in the booth. Okay, good luck finding space for it. <laughs> we'll move a bunch of your stuff, don't worry. Stop. This pair of lamps are fantastic. $80 for the pair. I actually have one very similar sitting out on my sun porch. A little black. Um, it's like it's a little bit smaller. It's a boudoir lamp, and I've got a popcorn shade on it. <laughs> nice bucket. Andrew is still stocking his case, trying to get it just right. But I figured I'd venture down this way and see what I could find. This looks amazing. This is $33. I have a very similar piece in my china cupboard that my friend gave me years ago. Except mine has strawberries on it. <laughs> I guess this are maybe strawberries? I don't know. They don't have seeds on them. $33 on this. That's a beautiful piece. I remember they're worth quite a bit of money. So I may grab that, but I want to see what else I could find. That's pretty. Orange glass vase, orange, white, and bubbles. 33 on that as well. All right, I see two contenders right off the bat. When I was here with Jesse the other day. I spent quite a bit of money in this booth. So I'm surprised to see that it's already um, being filled in with new treasures. Little sheep there is adorable. $30. Kind of looks like Artisania Rinconata, but I'm not positive about that. Just marked on the bottom though. Okay, so let's dig into this booth. I feel like this table is new. Either it's new or it was covered the last time I was here. Is that a dinosaur? No, it's a leopard. Definitely not a dinosaur. Sale, $30. <laughs> Long neck puppy dog. All right, so on our way out, I may circle back um, for that bonbon. I think it's kind of a nappy dish. A lot of my friends from the UK are like, what is a nappy dish? Because um, nappy also refers to diapers in the UK. But this is what they call a nappy dish, and I honestly, I couldn't tell you why. If I wanted to learn, I probably would Google it, but that's just what they're called is nappy dishes with one handle. These vases here are absolutely beautiful. 95 for the pair is what Paul has on them. Well, there is a marking on the inside. It says Austria. Well, if I had to guess, I would have said that they're probably from Austria, and sure enough, they are. 95 for the pair. I wish Andrew was here to enable me. Ooh, look at that beauty in the back. Paul has it hiding in this little corner. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's like Lucite. $2.95 on that. Wow. I just saw one the other day and I remember being very surprised that it still had its shades. Same can be said here. It has its shades. That's amazing. He has $2.95 on that. Those are really fun though. Gosh. If I was buying it for me would snatch that up in a heartbeat. I was gonna head upstairs but I didn't want to leave you. 
Oh, I'm going to be here for a minute. I'm trying to, I'm rearranging this. I'm bringing the supplies down. And then I've got more, like, more trays of coins to put up. So they're eye level? Yeah. Okay, well, I will put around upstairs and I'll come back and check in. Okay, if I'm done, I'll come find you. I noticed several sets of Pyrex around the mall. And I'm just trying to get an idea for how it's priced. Uh, this set is 99 Looks to be in pretty decent condition. This booth back here looks new. I don't think that was here the last time. And this booth has gotten a little smaller. I'm noticing a vase in the back. That looks interesting for sure. Looks like it wants to be a uh, bit toasty. But I don't feel like the... Um, Incised marks are deep enough. It could just be a look like. I mean, five dollars can't really go wrong, look like or not. This booth is all ready for Halloween. It looks like, especially like this one. Reminds me of Nightmare Before Christmas. This down here looks Italian. No markings on it though. Oh well, look. See that's probably Italian. Um, I did notice this over here. I want to get a closer look at it. You can see that fire screen with the bird on it. How much do they have on there? $75. Hmm. I mean we have a fireplace now. I'm kind of a little tempted. I think I'll get Andrew's uh, opinion on it though when he comes this way. Those are metal. I thought they were maybe fiberglass. There's a pair of them. Very fun retro designs though. Alright, well I am going to venture up the stairs. That's kind of fun. What is that? A Kermer blowing up bubbles. I think it's probably a print. It's kind of amazing though. The other day, I saw a skeleton <laughs> that was framed like this and I thought you know what I have one of those that I put out for Halloween every year and who knows if I just framed it it could be worth a lot more this one is 48 bucks this thing here is kind of 1970s it is signed moment for the clown a moment for the clown <laughs> looks like Jim Black I'd say that's probably the name on it. Anyway, we're going to head out um, onto the second floor. There's a very unhappy child. So I'm warning you that you're probably going to hear some upsetness, and uh, we're just going to roll with it. I think I'm going to grab a basket. It's here. Oh, it's Holland Mold. I thought maybe it was going to be the Dittmar Ertbach design, but it's not. <laughs> it's very narrow in here, but I can finally fit. This is kind of neat. It looks like a beverage cart. Slightly buried though. Mid-century bar cart. $99 firm. I like that it has these coin looking um, medallions on it. Like there's a pine tree shilling. Massachusetts. That's pretty neat. Andrew would probably get a kick out of that. I kind of like the looks of this. The Quaker Bakery and our Criswell, York Springs, Pennsylvania. Driven through there a few times. $68. I was just thinking that might look nice paired with that veterinarian print that I got uh, a few weeks ago at Goodwill. <laughs> Keep it in mind. I still have to hang that print. Once I hang it, I'll have a better sense of where I need to fill in. Paula is moving some new stuff in. I see a pheasant and some other odds and ends. Oh, this is pretty. This looks like Phoenix Consolidated. Hey! How are you doing? <laughs> Good, how are you? Good. I not glass of haze. Hmm. That is pretty with gold on it. 
He's only got $6.50 on that. I think I'll take it for that. I don't think I've ever seen this Polish pattern before. These have cats on them. Polish pottery bubble mug. Oh my gosh, those are so much fun with the cats. These ones have horses. These must be more contemporary patterns because they're not patterns that I'm familiar with. I'm just used to the basic dot pattern like that. It's usually when I find the Polish pottery, it's just um, the vintage stuff. It's Paul's cart of textiles. Oh, he's actually selling the industrial carts. Looks like he's got 95 each on those. Those would be great to have at the shop. Anyway, I'm just checking these over. He's constantly moving in new textiles. Not that I need any. Here's a quilt. How much does he have on that? 95. I feel like I should pull it out and get a look at it. Oh, there's a pinwheel quilt. I was talking to Andrew about maybe hanging the clothesline in the back of our uh, property so that I can start listing quilts and getting photos of them on the clothesline. I think once he does that, I'll be a little bit more gung-ho about picking um, textiles. This bird creature is cool. What is this? Oh, it's marked. Replica, Peru. I wonder if that right there is Hager. It's got the look of Hager. Come here, you. You know what? I'm just going to look at the tag. Royal Hager Brown Drip Vase. This is some neat signage. It's a shame that Andrew is still downstairs. Looks like Paul Revere. What does it say? I need to know. Shop. The double P E. It looks like it wants to be Fitz and Floyd, so I'm gonna check that out real quick. No, it's Otagiri. OMC. Otagiri Mercantile Company. How much does he have on that? It's $28. I feel like, you know what? I feel like at $28 I might be able to make some money on that. I think Paul has a discount if you spend more than a certain amount, so I might be able to get a little bit of a discount on that. Base is just beautiful. It has some cracking on it though. No markings. I love the flowers. They have Roseville Weller question mark on that. All right, well, I think that's it for the second floor. We're gonna head back down, check on Andrew's progress with his case. He's really trying to get it perfect today. Well, here we are back at this booth. I think I am going to pick this up. I feel like this is probably going to be a buy it now because if I recall when I ran an auction on my last one, it just didn't sell very well. So I'll probably do a buy it now on that. This, I don't know, $33. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave that behind. There he is. Still working on this case. Five more minutes. Yes. I walked around and I filmed an entire shopping video. I saw Paul. I said hi. Paul Snyder? Yeah, he's here. It's a Tuesday. Oh, he's upstairs? Yeah. Cool. He's always here on Tuesdays. Did you ask him how long he's going to be running the holiday sales? No. Why? He's got holiday sale signs all over his booth down here. Oh. Should have asked him how long he's going to be running the holiday sale for it. Well, technically, Is that a year-long holiday sale? technically, it's Halloween holiday. I just like to give him a hard time. I know. I like Paul. I really love this Coraline box down here. Forty-five on that. It's got a dragonfly. I feel like I've looked at that one before. It like and then I think I forgot to get it out of the case, so I may have to check that out. And also, the butterfly tray is beautiful. I think that right there is Picard. Maybe? Is that Violet's? I don't know. Hi! Hello! Hi! Schmitty, huh? That's your name? Can you even see me? Do you know I'm about to pet you or is it gonna start with you? <laughs> Hi! Aw, we can be friends. 
looks nice. I like that he has all of these um, at eye level. And then I know he was working on these the past few days, getting them all sorted by um, country, which is really nice because he has a lot of buyers that come in here looking for um, certain countries. Okay, well, I unfortunately do not recall my exact spend. I don't think it was very much. We just picked up a couple of things. Um, you know, I think it was like $8, $6, 30 something dollars. It wasn't a whole lot. But I was just here the other day with Jesse and I did some shopping. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get out of here now. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. This every day, and I'm still so amazed by you.